like you can see I'm wearing new hair and I can't keep my hands out of it like it's just soft and you know like because you're passing here through it and I'm passing my hair through this and it's like a breeze you know, like I can't believe the texture of this hair it's just so good um I bought this hair from unique hair expressions um, hair company and I I buy all my hair from them because the first time I buy hair from them I I did not regret it I wear that hair long long and I wash it every month no problem it just go back as good as new I just love unique hair expressions hair and I decided to try their curly hair this was supposedly a new texture hair they had up on their side guys you will not believe this hair like I bought this hair like two months ago three months ago I think I bought this hair in mid July yeah I bought this hair in mid July and I was expecting the hair to be here like end of July by the end of July and it did come by the end of July but then when I got the hair I realized that I had purchased a 20 inch a 18 inch a 16 inch and the 12 inch closure but then when the hair got here I got two 16 inches and the 20 inch no 18 inch so I was like no problem let me just go ahead and just um put in the hair and see how it will look when I finished making my wig you could actually see the gap between the 16 inch and the 20 inch because like the 20 inch was down here and the 16 inch was like up here right so you could actually see the, the layer between the hair and I was like no 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 so I contacted that the company and I explained to the young lady that um, she mixed up my purchase I purchased a 20 inch 18 inch and a 16 inch and I got two 16 inches and the 20 inch and I took a picture of the hair and I sent it for her and she responded immediately yo these guys have these guys have good customer service she responded immediately immediately and she told me oh it will be some kind of mix-up and she will resend me the 18 inch which she did but I decided, you know what, I'm not going to wear this hair until I got my 18 inch and then I will remake the wig and then wear it then. <sighs> the girl sent, sent me the 18 inch but it took like custom hair in Ecuador is crazy, yo. custom hair is crazy. They had the hair for like almost a month in the customs because they said this is the um busy time in customs here in Ecuador and they have a lot of stuff so the things things will um take time before they are sorted out and sent to their respective owner. Anyways when I do get the the 18 inch from, from custom I got it like almost end of August. No no I got it like the first week in September because yeah I got it the first week in September that's how long they took they had it in custom anyways when I finally get my hair I was like yeah let me go and make the wig now only to realize I don't have any wig caps <laughs> so I had to like call my husband and let him bring home a wig cap for me but then the store where I normally go and get my wig cap from they did not have any so they keep telling my husband to check back check back check back until i finally get a wig cap like on thursday and i made this wig on saturday and now today's sunday and i'm here showing you guys 
the amazingly gorgeous fabulous hair that I got from unique hair exp expressions so um enough of me babbling and chatting 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 um if you guys are interested in seeing how I get this hair done how I made this wig please guys stay tuned already clipped the lace off of this closure so I'm just going to fit it to where I want to sew it and then start sewing before I start stitching my lace front closure I usually bring it about one and a half inches off of the cap and then I start sewing it that way when I when the wig is finished it will fit snugly to my head then I'll go ahead and do the other side and back exactly like I did this side and that's it for the closure After sewing the closure, I turn the cap around and sew my first row on the back of the cap. Then I turn it around and continue sewing. 